Hi, this is Danielle, the domestic scientist, and today I'm participating in the Sparkle and Shine Summer Challenge 2020. So in today's video, I want to do some work in my living room. Now I have very high ceilings and I have a lot of natural light that comes into this room. So I want to create a light and airy feel for summer. I also have these large fireplace cutouts that I want to work in. Now the top two are very high up and I don't have a ladder to get up there. So I'm just going to focus on the four boxes at the bottom. So I wanted to add my sparkle and shine somewhere on my coffee table. So I am going to work on doing a vignette either here or possibly in the fireplace cutout. But for me, this is going to be a little bit of an experiment. I absolutely love florals and I really need to add some pops of color to this room. So I've arranged my floral stems in an ombre pattern in this basket that's pretty large. I'm not sure if I'm going to leave this on the coffee table or move it to the fireplace. So I put together a smaller vignette where I use my IMAX Hadley boxes and I have a bird cage here with two white birds and a bird's nest. And for this one, I really like it on the coffee table, but I really kind of wanted to use the coffee table for my sparkle and shine. So that might go in the fireplace. We'll see. In my living room, I have gray couches and I have teal pillows that I've extended them with. And also I use just one floral pillow in the center of each couch because I only have two of those pillows and I happen to find them on sale at Macy's for $2.50 a piece. So I'm gonna use one for each couch. And I think that they tie in beautifully with the flowers, but I think I lose the sparkle and shine if I leave the flowers on a coffee table. So I moved things all around the living room and I think this is the look I'm gonna stick with. I used my teal ginger jar from Home Goods and I put it in that top box. And then because I wanted the vignette of the birdcage to be in the fireplace, I put the large and the medium Hadley box at the bottom and then I set the birdcage on top of it. The fireplace cutouts are so large that it just kind of eats up whatever decorations that I put in there so it can be hard to find things to scale. I wanted the bird cages because I wanted the extra color and I think the gray galvanized metal kind of goes with my couches a little bit. So I just had to prop them up on these boxes which also add extra color so I think it's a win-win. On the other side, I put my basket of florals in the um, other side of the fireplace. And I have this Ashanti stool, which typically stays in the fireplace area. So I'm going to leave it there for now, just because I don't have anything else colorful to put in that space. And so what I decided to do for my sparkle and shine was to stick with a vignette on my coffee table and to also add a bit of flair to the edge of my couch. So I just love a good throw on the edge of a couch. So I didn't actually have one for this color scheme, but I realized that I had a lot of leftover pink sequins from a DIY video I had done earlier. So I'm actually just gonna use this as a decorative throw. Plus it adds a lot of sparkle cause what's more sparkly than sequins? And I absolutely love the pink. I think it goes with the pillows. So for my coffee table vignette, I created a small floral centerpiece and it's amazing I had any flowers left and so I put those on in a nice white canister I use this Turkish bowl as kind of a candy dish um, just to add some more bling to my display and I used the small IMAX Hadley box and put it at the bottom and topped it with just another turquoise box and a nice mercury glass vase just for some extra sparkle so this is my completed look I think that the living room has more of a summery or springy vibrant look to it. I absolutely love the lighter colors and I think it really brightens up the space. I had a lot of fun with this challenge. It was definitely outside of my comfort zone, but I'm glad I did it. I want to thank the host, um, me, myself, and DIYing it at home with Catherine B and my style my colors there are going to be links to each of their channels in my description box and also a link to the collaboration playlist you should certainly check out the work the other ladies have done let me know what you think of my sparkle and shine summer living room leave a comment in the box below and as always don't forget to like and subscribe I'll see you next time